BMW preemptively answers its Superbike competition with its updated for 2015 S1000RR. Employing new hardware, highlighted by an all new frame, more powerful version of its class leading 1000cc inline 4, and up spec HP4 derived electronics, the Bavarian machine dodges punches from its recently updated arrivals. Now we all know the S1000RR is the top of the superbike class. It's been that way since it came out and uh, once again, the highlight of this motorcycle is, is its engine performance. When you're on the gas, it's like you're, like you feel like a bullet coming out of a gun, like it just hauls the mail. It's crazy how hard this motorcycle accelerates. And uh, even though engineers have done, done good things in making the power band more linear, smoother, easier to, to ride, it still packs a punch. Like when you're on the gas in this thing, like the front wheel's climbing up and, and you're doing everything you can just to keep that front end down and, and drive forward. Like it's, it's a very, very visceral uh, riding motorcycle. And uh, once again, the electronics package works really well. It's very intuitive to use. Um, you can make adjustments while riding. There's a new user setting, which you can actually um, modify every individual setting and kind of create your own custom map. BMW also introduced auto blip technology. So now you don't have to use the clutch anymore. Now when you downshift, you just push on the gear shift lever and it changes gears uh, into the lower gear with, with no need to do the manual downshifts. Uh, overall, I thought it worked okay, but it just didn't have that reassuring engagement feel. And a couple times the thing popped into neutral and, uh, and it just didn't work as well as other systems um, that have that that I've used. So after a couple sessions, I just preferred to, to manually blip it. Um, I think BMW does needs to do a little bit more homework and refinement on that particular side of electronics. Uh, I also wasn't super pumped on, on the wheelie control. I know when we rode the HP4 at Harath a couple years ago, I was, I thought the wheelie control worked really well. But here at Coda, it, it just, I couldn't get a good feel for the system. I couldn't lean on it. Like coming on the main straightaway, um, I had to back off. Like if I didn't back off, I felt like the thing was going to loop out. Uh, chassis wise, BMW made big, big changes for 2015 with the S1000RR chassis. Um, but we didn't really get enough laps to really kind of feel it out. Um, as always, it's, it's a very nimble motorcycle, changes directions very, very easily. It's fairly stable. It's pretty easy to get up to speed on the bike and, and get a feel for its handling. But uh, again, we didn't really get enough laps to really, really dissect the improvements to the chassis. But uh, as always, like I really enjoy riding this bike. It's fast, it handles well, and I think if you're looking for just a really high performance, visceral sport bike um, with all the bells and whistles, um, with DDC and ABS and, and all the electronics that can make you ride and access the performance of the motorcycle easier, I think you're really gonna like this S1000RR. And uh, probably the million dollar question is just, is it, is it gonna be the bike this year? Is, you know, is the competition caught up to the S1000? And uh, I think it's gonna be close. Like again, like this engine wails, um, it handles well, the electronics are good, but this year is gonna be the year that we're really gonna find out if this bike really has it. Yeah.